Hello, welcome to Sunset Studios. Today we are going to make this adorable love bug. And I'm going to start with a rock. You can really use any shaped rock. I painted it white and I'm going to start with my pencil by drawing this simple design. You start with that. It's kind of like an upside down U and then you finish it with a line and then you make you start in the middle of the head and you basically make another upside down U and you finish the bottom with a line. And that's your basic shape and I will be getting the paint ready. Okay, my paint is poured and I am going to start by painting the head, <clears throat> excuse me, green. Okay, and again, this is a design that you can do whatever colors you like. I just like these colors because they remind me of spring. And they're kind of ladybug colors, but of course this is our love bug. All right, so I got the head painted and now I'm going to do the body. I'm just going to paint the whole body red. And then I'll go back once it's dry and add the pink hearts. And I'm using my thicker brush because this is a good size rock and this design is pretty big and open. When I do the <clears throat> hearts, I will use a thinner brush. So it's always good to have both. Okay. I got a little bit of red paint on the green, but I'm not worried about it because I'm going to do a second coat. So I'll cover that right up. I'll be back with my second coat. Thing. Okay. My second coat has been finished and you can see I got rid of the red that was in the green by accident. And what I'm gonna do is with my pencil, I'm gonna draw a few hearts very lightly just because the paint is dry, but it's it's not super, super dry. So if you, if you do it too hard with a pencil, I don't know if you can see the hearts. I can, <laughs> so it's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my thin brush. It, it is a little hard to see, but I'm gonna do my best. Okay. This is also a fun rock to paint for Mother's Day or to just give as a gift for somebody that you love always fun. Okay. And then we have one more. There we go. All right. And now I am going to switch back to my thicker brush and I am going to paint the ground green to show the grass. And some can be taller and some shorter. You wanna make it look as natural as you can. And I still wanna see the, the little legs on this love bug. So I'm not gonna paint all the way up to the red, right? I'm gonna leave a space of white. And that looks good. And then I am going to put a second coat on and I'll be okay. Back. So the second coat has been done. Now it's time for my paint pen and I'm going to outline our love bug. Whoosh, whoops, <laughs> I always get little things like that that happen. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just going around the outside of our new friend. And I'm gonna outline the head. 
And now I'm going to put in the legs, which is straight line down, and then a line going to the side. And I'm going to do six legs. The very last leg is going to go out the other way. Okay. Now the eyes are pretty low down on the face, just ovals. And as you can see, it's only a little half smile. So I'm gonna have it curve and do that little smile line. And then we have, let's see, just trying to decide how to do this. Okay, we have one antenna coming up like that. I'm going to turn my rock so that I can make a heart at the top. So my heart is kind of going off the rock, but that's okay. And then I'm going to do another antenna, which is going to be right up here like that. Okay. And oh, I want to outline my heart. So I'm going to do that, right like that, and then one more, two more. There. And now I'm going to grab a little bit of pink paint and just paint in the hearts that I just drew at the top. If you'd rather paint these red or whatever color, you can do that. It's your rock after all. Okay, and that, my friends, is our love bug. What we could do now, if you want, is you could put the word, words, love bug, going down the side. I think I'll try with my thicker pen and I'm just gonna go L and I'm gonna do the heart. Finish the word, love. Bug. It's a little hard to fit, so I probably won't do the extra heart like that one has. And instead, I'll just leave it like that and I'll grab more pink paint and just paint that heart that I made for the O. That's always fun to do if you're ever doing words is to, to do a symbol that represents the letter if you, if you can. Okay, there we go. Oh, one more finishing touch. Silly me, keep forgetting. Is I like to put a tiny bit of white on the sides of the hearts just like that, just to show a little light coming off. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's better. I think I'll not really do that because the antenna goes through that heart. Okay, and we are finished. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.